All right, here is loser bracket round one. There are no losers in this game whatsoever. Just so you know, it's just called loser's bracket because the players had to lose. So round one did happen. I'm sorry, round one did happen. I didn't get to show it because nobody saved the replay. So here we go. We got Lego versus Sun Tzu. Let's see how they get on. Lego is dropping down a double land factory opener and by the way this is a fast cast because it's a beginner tournament and we're just trying to get through it really quick so that we could get to the good stuff because beginners like you could see this is an interesting choice here from Sun Tzu a large pgen line I like the triple land factory opener because this is a triple land factory map and building more I like it very very good this is good And he should be... I like that Lego is having his ACU help and the engineer's help. He should have more factories, though. It's a lot of units. Got to get those adapters up front. Nicely done with the Brackman fire. Yeah, this is, should be an easy win for Sun Tzu. Oh, but there's a fat boy on the field. Did not see that coming, did we? But, but with enough... With enough adapters, this should be A-OK. -okay. Just push in. Gotta push in right now. Okay, there's too many brack... There's too many... There's too many... Too many fat boys. Get in there. Just get in there. Nicely done. Nicely done. Well, it looks like those fat boys are going to be more of a problem now, aren't they? Sun Tzu, floating mass, could literally build so many more factories. That's what you need. At least one air factory is not a bad plan either. But produce things, please. Produce things, Sun Tzu. There you go. Oh, man. His opponent went air too. That's unfortunate. Now, Lego is doing very well. Except for he's not sending engineers up to suck up delicious yummy my mass. Now this is going to be very, very dangerous, this AC-1K. Except for he's not building anything to defend it. A bunch of bombers isn't going to be the, isn't going to do the trick. AC-1K shouldn't even be able to do that. Wow. That death, Cybern Death Ball is breaking through. What? And Sun Tzu is out of the tournament because he didn't protect his ACU with his fighters. And that's what happens when you don't protect your ACU with your fighters and you know that there's an AC-1K on the field. AC-1Ks are very, very powerful, but they don't have any anti-air. And if you, if your opponent's not protecting your AC, his AC-1Ks, you could easily knock it out and not even worry about it. That shouldn't have been a problem. There was an air factory and there was air. Should easily have been able to knock that out. Not even, no problem at all. But... It looked like Sun Tzu was a little overzealous with his units and pushed him up too far. Did a lot of good work on the way, but unfortunately was knocked out because the AC-1K went unchecked. So well played there, Lego. I think uh, the build could have been better, but you won. So moving on the loser bracket too. Good job. And Sun Tzu, maybe next time, buddy. Well done. Except for... You're floating so much mass. Same with Lego. Next time, don't float so much mass. Just build stuff. But good games, guys. Well done, and have a good day. What? You still haven't joined the biggest Supreme Matter 2 Discord in the world with over 1,000? Uh, 2,000? You have general, Hall of Fame, all the YouTube channels, all the YouTube videos, streaming. Uh, don't, don't worry about that. Ask for some help, post some memes, send some replays, find a game, dead chat. We even have a channel for all the Xbox Subcom 2 players. 
So what are you waiting for? Click the first link in the video description or just type Supreme Commander 2 in this thing that nobody will ever use. You should join now.